What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back more diecast, and today we're going to be unboxing 13 different Matchbox Working Rigs vehicles. So, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I am a big fan of these working rigs. I think they offer the best value, detail, and moving parts for the money of any Matchbox line. I think the uh, moving parts line is their best car, like regular vehicle line, but the working rigs line is probably the best overall line they have, at least in retail, because these things are so good. Uh, they retail between $5.99 and $7.99, depending on what store slash country region you're in. They're probably more around the world. In the United States, they'll run you about seven or eight bucks now, I think, um, but they are killer. They offer some of the best detail and play value for the money. Like this Freightliner M2106 vacuum septic truck, this is licensed, it has six wheels, three axles, it moves, it has several different moving parts, um, the colors are very nice, they're more realistic. Um, this one, I'm especially pumped to open the GMC c8500 top kick tree trimming truck this thing is so cool and who doesn't want more realistic working rigs in their matchbox town or diecast town i know i do these are a welcome sight i have two complaints about them one they're a little hard to find and two they don't have a ton of castings um they could really do a lot with this line and i feel like we get the same releases over again that would be the only problem but in the past few years, I've been able to pick up, you know, seven or eight different ones I think are unduplicated here and then some duplicates. But um, overall, I'm a fan, so I will take a duplicate. But, like, there's no reason I couldn't have two tree trimming trucks or in the case of the septic truck. I thought both of these look really awesome. The colorways are great. Just everything about it looks good. And in town, you have to have competitors. You have to have business competitors. So, of course, you can take two. Of different colors or you can buy five of these and have a whole fleet of one business you really the options are endless with these things so basically what we'll do is we'll go over all 13 real quick just to like show you what they are and then we'll bust into them look at the details and moving parts and everything else so i'm so pumped about these because i've collected these since about 2021 or 2022 so some of these are older releases and then i have um, ones all the way up until i believe i found this this year i think this is the most current one so it's probably last year or this year um but there are some 70 which are from last year and then this one is from what this actually has 2021 on it so this might be a 2021 or 2022 release i don't know but we're gonna open it and take a look so like i said this is the top kick tree trimming truck excellent detail on this license really nice graphics i just love this truck all the detail and the realism they put into it so excited to open that I've kind of already gone over the septic trucks. Uh, one thing to note, I noticed that there is a difference that this one has a long name, this one has a short name, and then we flip it over. Um, the short name is from 2022, and the long name is from 2020. So uh, they've actually adjusted the name since then. So I don't know if they don't want to call it a vacuum septic truck or they just are calling it that. I don't know. Um, but then it's interesting to see the name change from year to year on that one. So next up, we have two matching box trucks. We have the like it said, look, so we're looking at the same thing. International MV, this is an international box truck. So the cards say something different. Let's see what the years are. That is 2021, and this one is 2023. So this one was from last year because the 70 uh, logo on there for Matchbox birthday. Um, so just over a couple of years, they've kind of changed the name of them a little bit. So this is cool. Matching box trucks. You can have different things going on in your city. That's going to be a fun one to open. I think I've opened that one um, before in past videos. So it's a cool casting. But here is the look at the name on this thing. International Workstar 7500 Dump Truck. This is so cool. I have, I believe, a blue version of this one um, because they have released these quite a few times. Um, I believe it says 2008 on the chassis. So this has been released for over 10 years now, almost 15 years. What, 16 years? This was from last year. Also, it's got the 70th logo on it. That will be a fun one because this looks super realistic and it goes really well with any of the construction action driver sets. Um, next up, we have two of the Freightliner M2 106 satellite trucks. So as you can see, this one just says satellite. This one says satellite truck. So the white one is from 2022 and the yellow one is from 2021. 
And it's cool to see that they package them different as well. This one has the uh, satellite dishes up. This one has it down. So they do do a few different things. So if you're like a collector, a completist in your collection, um, it's cool to see that they're doing different things with them so that if you're collecting these, it's just not all the same truck packaged over and over again. There are some differences, which is cool. So and then talking about the same ones, um, this one I bought and I thought they were the same, but they aren't. So this is the road grader. This actually has this one in the center. This one is over here. I don't know. Let's look at the years real quick. So this one is 2023. This one is 2021. So they're two years apart, model years. And you can see that they did a little bit different detailing on them. I've opened this one um, in a previous video before too. I like the detail on it. Also, they have this uh, plow, like the actual grader facing out. This one, they have it facing in. So it's just interesting to see um, two of those. So we'll open those and just look at those briefly as well. Should be fun. And then here we have three different tractors. So I'm really pumped about this one. This is the MBX Matchbox Crop Sprayer. So if you live in any kind of farming community, you've seen these on the road, you've passed them because they've gone super slow. And usually you do the like little fast and the furious, like, can I drive underneath that guy? Because usually they're really tall to fit over the crops. This comes with two attachable pieces that swing out. So this will be a really fun one to open. This one is from last year, 2023. So Probably doesn't have the 70th anniversary on it because it has that up there. Um, but I have this one from one of the previous releases and it's pretty cool. Um, next up, we have the Matchbox Mega Tractor. So this is from 2009. So this is a little bit older one. I don't think I have this one. Um, this might have been one that snuck past me originally. This is cool because the chassis articulates and it has a matching little like trailer sprayer. I don't exactly know what that is, but we will take a look at it. There you can kind of see it articulates as well. Very cool. And then lastly, we have the New Holland Biodirectional Tractor. This is super cool. So it actually has the scoop like what I would consider to be on the back. Um, and I don't think you can take it off and put it on, but it almost looks like you can. Um, there you can see some of the up and down motion, but this was, I believe, last. Oh, no. Look at that. 2021. So I've had this one for a while, I think. I'm surprised. I thought this was a newer one, but maybe I was getting it confused with the crop sprayer. Uh, but this is cool. I like this. All, licensed tractors, always a good thing. So let's go ahead. We'll save. We'll kind of split, the, split them up since we have some duplicates. We'll go ahead and open my favorite one so far. Let's open this Top Kick tree truck. So this should be super cool. I'm really pumped about this. And it'll look all awesome together at the end when all 13 of them are together. Um, that will look pretty rad. So, okay. So this one has a dump bin here in the back which is nice. Does that have a moving door? Man, look at that. So we have one, two moving parts already, even though it's in the same single part. It does have like that little hydraulic. Let me see if I can get some more light in here. A little like hydraulic solid style ram that goes back into the truck. And it has this huge boom for you to go like trim trees. Look at how high this is. So just for comparison, this is the Matchbox Excavator and it is probably only half of the height as this tree trimming truck. It is so cool. That is huge. And the bucket articulates as well. So you get like a double moving part. I believe, how do we put that? Do we just put the bucket back in there? Let's see. Just like this, maybe. There it goes. So it fits down in there. And then look at the detail. So this says o Ozima, Ozima. Tree service since 2009. It's got the nice GM logo to show you it is actually licensed. Chicago, Illinois. I mean, the graphics don't look bad. Those look like the printer style tampos. Um, but when it's on this, it doesn't matter as much uh, to me as a like RLC car or something like that because the detail is a little more workhorse-ish. It's not supposed to be as refined. So it has these steel style wheels. They're painted orange. That one's not perfect. That one's a lot better. It just has some nice paint detail on it. Oh, got a little dog hair or something on it. Let me get that out of there. Um, the truck looks good. Can you just, can you take this off? I don't know if you can. It almost looks like you can. Uh, I don't want to break it though. Let me see here. Let me pull this up. I think you can actually take this off. Um, I believe you can. I don't know. I don't want to break it because it's one of my favorite ones, but you can't look at that. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. So you can actually take this off, even though it kind of stretch. Oh, it is actually meant to stretch. Look, it has joints there. So you can take it off. Cool. 
That's awesome, look at that. So there you can get a better look at the actual truck so you can drive it without that on there, but it's probably advised to keep it on there just because it is, uh, if you drop a tree on there, like if you were playing and drop the tree on there, it would be like and crush the hood or the windows, but that's cool that actually comes off, that's awesome. I like that a lot. And it actually like withstood being bent more than once. So that's awesome. Man, I really like this. I'm gonna have to look this one up uh, to see what other colors it comes in because I would absolutely buy another version of this in a different color or this again in the same color. I also like how they have the steps right there in the back. Very nice detail on that one. So the one thing I will say about these is they're not meant to go fast. So sometimes when you roll them fast, they'll start to squeak. That one did not. Um, I've noticed the dump truck and some of the other ones I have open do, but man, that is absolutely killer. Love the boom arm. I love that that front piece comes off. Just a lot of tons of nice detail. So that'll be that'll be a cool one to use with uh, the other dump truck too. Like you can kind of get the tree trimmings over here, put them in another dump truck, take them to the dump or the construction site. So that's awesome. We're off to a very good start on that one. So let's do the septic truck next. So we'll open the actual one that says septic on it the 2020 or 2021 it says 2020 usually it's hard to tell depending on when these come out during the year some of them will say the year that they're in or some of them will say a previous year so it's hard to tell i can't i'm just reading the names on the back of the packages i don't necessarily know if that's when it came out or not but look at the detail on this very cool again if you live in the country you're probably familiar with a septic tank suction trucks or if you've ever been to a big event and they are cleaning out the porta potties this is the truck that does that so basically what this swing arm does it comes over it goes down to your septic tank and it sucks up all your pee and poop <laughs> really all your sewage everything you've had uh, everything you flush or put down the drain it sucks it up puts it in this tank and then they drive it away and it's cool that it actually has the tilt oh and it opens look at that that's so cool so not only can you pretend to like Fill it up, uh, it gets full, you can go to the dump or whatever, push it back and dump it out. That is awesome. So now we have two trucks that have like another element to them in the front and then a dump bed, which is awesome. So there it says Matchbox Surfaces, VAC 12. It's even got a like a, uh, what is that? Like a Department of Transportation license number on the door. Very cool. This has very similar wheels, um, almost the same color. Big steel wheels on it. Uh, I like this. I think the colors on this work very well. It also matches some of the other like Action Driver Town cars or just other Matchbox vehicles that they have like with the orange and blue. And I don't know if you've ever seen some of these, but some of these in certain towns, they will paint them a little bit brighter color to bring a little happiness or brightness to them because it's kind of a gross job or they will have like a poop joke written on them or something like that. So I think this is a pretty good release. So this is metal chassis. I don't think I talked about that one last time. This is a plastic chassis because all this right here is metal, um, but this metal and we get a metal chassis. So this one came out and when did this one come out? Does it actually say Freightliner work truck 2010 vacuum truck. So this has been out for over a decade and it has held up very well. I think this still looks excellent. The front uh, with the hose, the front bumper, just really nice detail. There's just a lot of plastic detailing. Um, that's not like tampo detailing, but just that they like molded into the actual plastic. Super cool. Very nice. Let's see how this one rolls. Oh, it probably rolled like a real septic truck very slowly. So, all right, that was a cool one. Let's look at the same truck. So this is the same release, but it is in black and green. I actually, ah, oh man, I don't know which one. Let me know which one you think looks better in the comments below. I think the toxic tank art looks better, but I think this one probably looks a little more realistic. Uh, but this one's cool too. It's got gray or white painted wheels. It does have a new DOT number on it, right? Yep, that one's five or two, this one's five. It's the same overall um, movement to it. It has the same kind of tube. It's got the toxic tank in the back. This one has a single color tank and lid where the other one has a two color. Um, it has retained its metal chassis. So this looks really cool. Again, they did a really nice job with this casting. That one rolls better than the first one. And I actually think the um, 
the lights because you can actually see them against the black. Like this has a white tampo, but you can't see because the truck is white. Here you can actually see that it has a tampo for the headlight. So I think the black one probably overall um, looks better. Like if you were just displaying it, I would probably go with the black one um, just because you can see the headlight detail a little better. So go ahead and line those up. But I really like all those. Like those look so cool lined up together. So let's do another international. Let's do the International Workstar 7500 dump truck. So this one is from 2023. I think I saw a lot of this one. Um, there's another one. I think it's the cargo box truck. One of these is like a kind of like a pay warmer uh, working rigs. They just kind of sit there. But I like buying them every once in a while. So check this out. Good size dump truck. I like that it says Road King Hauling Transportation. It's got a number. It's got the nice like caution graphics on the back. Um, those are ink stamped so they look good. This is another three axle six wheeled truck. Look at that. That is nice. That has a printer style tampo which I don't think it looks very good. It, I don't think the uh, maroon background color on this is doing that any favors but it does have the mini uh, international logo on the uh, grill right there not a bad looking truck though so the chassis is plastic where this whole thing right here is all metal so there's still a lot of metal on these trucks i like that they put the uh exhaust pipe right there barely sticking out but it's a nice detail they engineered this just right like it closes right on it um this one also has a hydraulic dumping ram that you can see or a fake hydraulic dumping ram um, this is pretty cool. So this actually has up here, this is a what would be a rollout cover kind of rolled up. So it's nice that they did that little detail because that's that's a plus. They didn't have to do that, but this kind of goes back over it and then it would close it. So when you're driving down the road, all this stuff you just put in there isn't flying out all over the road. So this, like I said, dump here and then this one has a dump there too. So all the dump actions on these have been double dumped so it's gone up and the doors open which is really nice so this is a great looking truck i'm nervous to roll this one oh it it doesn't roll the best but it's not squeaking so anytime they don't like don't squeak then it's a win for me so let's go ahead let's keep let's keep going with the trucks real quick so here we go we have the international box truck this is from 2023 this is the goodyear one i thought this was cool because you can use this um in your action driver's town in your like auto garage like the mechanic shop um to drop off some tires there so this can be like actually used and it's licensed anytime there's like a double licensed car so it's an international plus goodyear on it that's extra cool so this is pad printed look at that all that beautiful blue ink stamped on there so nice and it does have the like um running lights down the side it has the corner lights which is pretty realistic. It's got Goodyear on the front there. Um, let's see. Let's go look at this. So the cab is nice. This is a plastic chassis, but everything else is basically metal. Well, the box isn't, but the car or the truck itself. So this is metal all the way back down here. And then some of the uh, mechanisms for the door are metal as well. So there are a lot of metal on these cars. Even though this huge piece is plastic, there's still, a, there's still probably double the metal, maybe even triple, well, I'll say double the metal that a regular like mainline has. There's just a lot. It's just stretched out rather than just like in a bulk piece. But the headlights look pretty cool. Those are pad printed. Those are the good ones. Um, I like that. This one um, probably, I mean, it's probably not going to excite a bunch of people because the front looks a little plastic toyish. Uh, but this is a cool truck. If you were to buy something similar from Greenlight, it would be double the price is this it would have double the detail but if you're looking to get into a nice box truck that's double licensed this is absolutely the way to go so this is pretty cool this is like a little um like lift gate that kind of wiggle it down there it goes and i think this opens right yes both of these open and you can load tires in there unload them at your auto shop and your diorama put it back up and then swing how do you do it I'll make sure I do it because this one this one's probably one of the more finicky uh actions that they have you just got to make sure you get it to the very top so it swings over um but this is cool I like this one it'll work well in the action driver town Ooh, that one rolls very nice very nicely man that's cool okay 
look at this line of internationals with the lone GMC over there. So this is the single license one. This is just the international cargo. It doesn't have a brand on it. It's just matchboxes, like kind of like play fantasy brand. As far as I know, this isn't real. Yeah, because it says a division of Max Matchbox Transportation. But here in the yellow, you can kind of see where the metal is more than the uh, blue one. I think the blue kind of hides where the metal is. But anything yellow here is metal. So you can see just how much metal is on the back. And then the bed or the floor of the box is actual metal too. So, I mean, there is a ton of metal on this truck. Looks good. I think the yellow looks good. I like... Um, some of the white colored vehicles, I think those are very industrial, like their body in white. Um, but the blue and the yellow, I think the yellow has the better headlights, even though it looks like the same style. It looks almost looks like they missed an outline or something on the blue one, but the yellow one seems to look a lot better to me. Uh, and I think the chrome grill makes it look more realistic than the plain uh, plastic grill. That looks toyish. This almost looks more realistic. So... Um, this one has the same action. We'll go ahead and try it just for fun. Boop. So that one actually, it didn't work too bad. Let's check the door, see if there's anything cool in here. Nope. That would be funny if they like slip some like super treasure hunt in there. So what, are the, what are they, super chase cars? Ultra super, I don't know. It's like ultra super extra chase for uh, Matchbox. So this one, can you see inside this one? Oh, you can actually see inside of this one. It does have an interior, but this one has very dark tinted windows that you really can't see through. So um, that, I don't I don't need to really see the interior on this one as much because it's, it's so far back and it's not, I mean, it's just a box truck. You're not gonna have a ton of detail. It's a bench seat and a steering wheel. So it doesn't really bother me, but it is odd that the interior exists. They just chose to basically cover it up with a dark tinted window. I, it, I always find it odd when they do that. So, all right, next up, we will go more. We have the Freightliner, more license. So this is the Matchbox TV Worldwide. I like this because um, I bought a few of these and I think I may have a different color of this somewhere else because if you're doing like a Matchbox Town and you're doing diorama stuff, usually you have multiple news channels show up. So you wanna have multiple of these um, at your like scene of the crime or scene of the action. We'll go ahead and open this one too and kind of look at them at the same time. Since they are the same ones, I won't make you suffer through both of them. So um, these are cool, though. I like these. So these are the same release a couple years later. So this one is a P and this one is an R. So this one was the um, later or the earlier release. This is probably what I what did I say this one was. So the white one is 2022 and the yellow one is 2021. So they're a year apart. And in that year, they gave us front detailing, which is cool. So again, if you're a variation collector or want to buy the best version, probably buy the later version of this because it does seem to have the headlights, unless this was some sort of error and it was supposed to, but I don't think so. I'm sure it was just um, an oversight to save some money, then they put it on the next one. Um, but it's cool. It's got headlight tampos. It's got a nice grill tampo. I think that looks really good. It says Freightliner on it. It's a little hiccupy, but it's not bad. Like, look, you can actually read it though, which if that was a pixelated tampo, you wouldn't be able to. So cool thing about this one, this moving part, it has dual antennas that pop up or satellite dishes. So you can um, broadcast your newscast all over the world. And this one's cool because it kind of has like satellite dishes going to houses and stuff. There we have a DOT number as well. It says Matchbox Worldwide. Um, this is plastic. I don't think this one's kind of low on detail and fun. I mean, you just pull up and kind of put these satellite dishes up and that's that's the extent of this one, but that's what a new truck does. So um, this one is all plastic right here. This is a plastic chassis. This is a metal body. So this one is probably where they're making up some of the money lost for uh, putting the extra metal in like the box truck and stuff. I like this one actually. I think this one looks a little bit more realistic of like an actual, like to me, this one kind of looks a little toy or UFO huntery. This one looks like an actual um, news truck that you'd see because it does have like all the things they do. Special news edition, charity, lottery winner, Matchbox News Network. It just looks a little more realistic and it has the front detail, which is extra cool. Um, nothing else changed on this one. It just looks like uh, the metal is up on the uh, cab there. So it does have the same antennas or salad. I keep saying antennas. Satellite dishes. Oh, oh, nice. They, oh, I was like, oh, I broke it. I broke it live. And now I dropped it. Oh, there it is. Technical difficulties. 
So then you just pop it back in. So that's kind of cool that you can pop them out. I'm sure if these were in a toy box, those are coming out and getting lost forever though. So a little hiccup on the design there, but these are cool. If I was going to pick one of these, I would definitely pick the white one though. Um, because it has more detail and I think it looks more realistic. So if you're going with one for your town, maybe um, do some eBaying and look at the different versions and see which ones you want to buy. So here, since these are literally the same, even though they're, uh, they're like different colored yellows, um, we'll open these at the same time too. Because I've already done one of these. Uh, this is a cool casting though. But I don't think my Action Drivers Town needs three road scrapers and only, you know, a couple backhoes. So... Uh, this is a cool casting. It does have a lot of detail, so it has this swinging um, road grader on the bottom, so you can kind of detail and scrape along there. It's got a little separate um, exhaust piece, like this part is separate, but there's a lot of metal on this. This entire thing is metal. Um, the only part that is plastic is this insert, um, this up here, and then this. Um, everything else is metal. So this one, again, this is one that weighs a little bit. Let's go ahead and open the other one real quick. Look at the detail. So um, they both have the same detail. I don't think there's anything different. Do these move? I can't remember. I thought these move for some reason. They look like they do. I probably did this in the last one too, just because I don't remember. This one moves. Um, I don't know, which one do you like better? Do you like the one with the black wheels better in the more like construction orangish tone? Or do you like the more bright yellow one with the yellow wheels? Um, to me, I like the one with the yellow wheels. I think it looks better. Uh, I like the, they both have similar detailing on them, but I think I like the red um, detailing right there a little bit better. But overall, I don't think there's any difference over the years. Yeah, they both look the same to me. I do like the gray top on this one. Um, I don't know. Let me know which one you like better in the comments of the road scraper. Oh, that one has black all the way down it. This one doesn't. Oh, I don't know. That's a tough one. I'm not sure. Because I do like them both. Let's see how they roll. Oh, it rolls very nicely. Ooh, hear it? That one has the squeak to it. So um, that one, even though I like that one better, that's, that's the squeak one. Even though these do not see any speed at all, these are very low driving vehicles, low speed driving vehicles. So it's not like you're going to get into any street races with these unless you're uh, racing some pavers. See how fast you can get your pavers done. So we'll put this one over here. Um, but these are cool. Like, look how cool that looks all together. Kind of put them staggered here before we open the tractors and the farm stuff so next up we have the crop sprayer this is so cool i wish match like uh, i mean i wish they would do more farm style vehicles like this because there's so many different things that that totally destroyed that they can do um or even just release this in a few more colors or just even fantasy tractors anything is cool so um here is the actual crop sprayer itself there it, this one's kind of funny because if this was real life it wouldn't have these huge axle keepers they're usually like the wheels are up here and it almost looks like you can drive underneath of them it's really cool if you've never seen one in real life they're cool to drive around but this is heavy all the chassis metal all this up here metal um this is plastic uh this is plastic and just this is plastic. So this is, again, a very heavy one. You're getting a good bang for your buck here. And I love the colors. What does that say? Operated by Bird Farms. 100% organic. It's got the little, uh, what we hook these sprayers to. Very cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so here are the sprayers. Boop, boop. So they go like this. Let me make sure I do this right. That one should go like right here. And they are even tabbed, so you can make sure you do them the right way. Just like this, snap them on. So when you're driving it, you're driving it like this. Can you do it up? Like this, so you don't hit anything. Uh, you just have to be careful of like low telephone or power lines. Usually in real life, I don't know, will it go a little higher? Like usually they do it out to the side, but they're like real close to the side like that. But the Matchbox one, it's casted a little different. So it kind of sticks out. You can never drive down the road like that. So you kind of got to put them together and drive it like that. Which I don't know if they showed that on the, do they show that on the art? No, they show them right like to the side of each other. But this is cool because it does articulate up and down. So when you're driving to your field, you're ready to spray your crops. You get your sprayer out this way, get your sprayer out this way. 
that way, like, look how that's by far the widest. Look at that. Look how wide that is. It goes over almost all the other ones. It is super huge. Very cool. So then you drive through and you can, you know, spray how many, however many rows. What is this? A one, two, probably like 10, 16 row sprayer. Really cool. That is awesome that Matchbox does that. See, to me, how do you beat that value? This is a full metal vehicle, basically. Moving parts, specialty wheels. Uh, I mean, snap-on parts. I mean, this thing is so cool. That is really hard to beat for the price. And it's nice in quality, too. The parts snap together nice. It rolls nicely. That will look awesome parked outside your uh, Matchbox Action Drivers Farm playset. I really push those because I love that. That farm playset is extra cool. So we'll open this one next. The New Holland Biodirectional. Whoop. I'm trying to go fast, but this I think we're at a half hour. So thank you for sticking with me if you watch this whole thing. All right, so the moving part is the bucket on this one. So this, did I rip? Oh my gosh, I ripped the bucket off. Okay. All right, so let's put the bucket back on. Whoop. All right, so look at that. So this articulates multiple ways. It almost looks like a little hand. Whoop. The bucket moves, and I believe you can take this bucket off and put it right here and right here. Let me try. I think. I don't know. Yes, you can. So this has three different bucket mounts on it. This one's metal, so it's a little tough to get in there. Hang on. Make sure I can get it in there. Here it goes, like that. So you can put that one there. It's got an articulation in the center, articulation point. So you can put that there. You can just put these in the back. So you have three different mounting points for this. You have this one. Um, this one back here, and then this one up here. So this is really, really cool. I love the um, interior detail they have on this. So this is actually backwards. The seat faces this way, and there you can see the steering wheel or the steering um, mechanism there in the column. I think it's a steering wheel on this one. It's got the uh, windshield wiper, so you kind of know it's the front, even though there is a windshield wiper there as well. So you can move it both ways. You can probably turn the seat around and drive it from the front. Um, as well. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these New Hollands in real life. I've seen a lot of John Deere stuff in real life, but not one of these New Holland tractors in particular. So um, I like that it has Mitch Math, Mitch, Mist, Matt, oh my gosh, mismatched painted wheels. It rolls very well. The New Holland looks great on it. It's got little headlights and turn signals or corner lights. It's got the exhaust sticking out. Just a really cool casting. So let me pull this one back out here and we will put it back on the. Uh, articulating one let me see how hard this is to do there you go just kind of twist it put this one back on because i liked it on back here too oh you can move that look at that you can put it on can i put it on somewhere else i think that's the only articulation point on that one so i think it does have to go on these but that's cool that all of this comes off you can basically remove and move around all of this stuff that is awesome Again, for six bucks, seven bucks, that is not a bad deal. License, you get a ton of moving parts, articulation. It looks so good. The blue and yellow look great on this tractor. So let's go ahead and try. Let's see, I'm gonna put this up here. It actually rolls pretty well. And it's cool because it'll actually like turn when you roll it like this. So when if you turn the front direction, that's kind of cool. I really like that one. I'm gonna have to go back and see what colors. Uh, they've done that in because i would definitely pick that up in another colorway so very very cool all right last up we have the matchbox mega tractors let's see so it looks like that i don't know if that's a tiller on the back there or what that is so we'll go ahead and take this out because i don't know if i have this one you know, it looks like a tiller oh and these are moving parts as well they're little almost not cams but they're like little rollers that roll obviously Full metal, look at that, metal, ah, that is huge metal axle on that, compared to a Hot Wheel, that's like gigantic, huge, appropriate for a working rig, and then we also have the little tractor crown 1100 biodiesel, that looks so cool, oh, I love that, it's got the little traffic triangle on it, again, if you see these driving in traffic, it means slow moving vehicle, go around, use caution, Watch your step. It's got painted steps. Love that you can see the interior, like just the whole interior itself. 
I love that they have um, windshield wipers on both sides because you always have to be looking around. You almost like drive a tractor from behind sometimes, especially when you're hauling stuff. But this one has an articulation point in the center as well. 2009 on the base, so this is an older one. Mega tractor. But it looks awesome. The white and green go great together. It's got a plastic up here. Again, all metal. This whole thing is metal. The only plastic is the little canopy here. So it's got a little mounting point for the trailer. So it goes in right there. Boop. Just drive it around. Rolls very nicely. Man, look how cool these are. So pumped about these. These will go great with my dioramas, with my action driver sound, um, construction sites, everything. So this is one I opened last time. I just pulled it out for fun because it was sitting close by. But I really am a fan of the tractors. I do green lights, like I collect green lights down on the farm, which I need to open some of those. So I'll probably have to do a video on those at some point. Um, this New Holland tractor is so so cool love that thing okay so let me know now that you've seen all 13 of these and i have like stuff all over the desk um which one is your favorite what do you think do you like the news truck do you like the cargo van personally i still think out of all these um vehicle wise this gmc top kick this tree trimming truck so awesome love that it has so many different articulations to it moving parts like it just and it stays up it's not cheap like it actually has some like tightness to it so that's so cool again this fits really well with this tractor i mean they go together so so well just a really nicely done line so let me know um in the comments which one is your favorite which one is your least favorite uh which one of these you you have if you have any of these um how you use them in your diorama town or your your matchbox town or diecast town or whatever you want to call it but super cool so i really appreciate you sticking through the whole video with me we're now at like 36 or 37 minutes it was a long time but we packed it full of huge huge working rigs these have so much detail such an awesome line so the next time i see some new ones of these i will definitely pick them up and do a video on them because i really really like each of these and i'm hoping to find more of this tree trimming truck too but i'll i'll keep my eye out for everything construction trucks um delivery vehicles farm equipment whatever i want to buy it all because it's cool so i really appreciate watching the sam 64 wheels like and subscribe as always and i will see you guys in the next one bye